The technology we're talking about today is a new 3D printing technology for the purposes of expeditionary manufacturing. It's what we call fused filament fabrication. That's the, the desktop printers, the sort of hobbyist printer that you're used to seeing in schools and um, in people's homes. But the problem has been that the parts that they produce tend to be too weak mechanically. They're just not sufficiently robust to hold up to what a soldier is going to subject those parts to. So uh, we've been doing research now for a few years trying to develop new feedstocks that can be fed into those printers and using those off-the-shelf, low-cost printers produce parts that are mechanically strong and, and stiff. Um, what we've done is we've combined two different polymers together into a single filament and each of those polymers has unique characteristics that are useful for printing and building strength. What we do is we first create on a 3D printer this solid body here which is called a preform. If you look at this preform, you see there's a white part and a red part. The white part is a higher temperature polymer called polycarbonate. The red part is a lower temperature polymer called uh, ABS. Then we actually convert this back into filament. We use a thing here called a thermal draw tower that, that we built. Uh, this preform gets mounted in this feed head here. The feed head pushes the filament down at a very, very slow rate. This gets heated up and the bottom gets really hot and under its own weight starts to sag and neck down, sort of like this, although this has gotten all curled up. We would form a straight neck down to filament and it starts producing filament that looks like this from that draw cone. That gets fed down through some diameter sensors, some tension sensors, there's a take-up reel. And at the bottom, once you get this process going, you can make a large spool of filament like this. This now becomes our new filament for 3D printing. Uh, I can feed this into any conventional desktop printer. It's got these two polymers in there. And we print it at a temperature where the red stuff likes to print. And that's the ABS. It prints a real nice part. After printing, I put this in the oven at an elevated temperature to get those layers to really fuse together. I believe we're going to be able to cross a threshold now that we can have a low cost, easy to operate, easy to maintain printers proliferated on the battlefield.